Okay, the set or kit three is for Robot Designer. This is the most recent one that's come out. Uh, I just decided recently that I want to do these reviews of the Lego Master Builder and Academies. Because I figure most people out there, they have got Lego reviews for Star Wars and the like. So this is something a little different. I might as well try it. So this one, once again, has the same full color. It has tips, ideas, uh, three different robot designs. One uh, is built to make a uh, actual robot, the other two are manned robot machine things. Uh, and the add-ons for the minifig is this like gun, proton gun thing, it's kind of cool, and a silver helmet right here. And the visor is actually a silver visor that is a like a remold of the, uh, I think it's Arctic Explorers, they had it in like a bright, uh, orange color and now it's him all shown like Iron Man or whatnot so that's cool I, I kind of like this one the uh, micro one wasn't that cool or wasn't that interesting to me hey there this is the X91B uh, first model in the robot design kit so as you can see obviously he's a standalone robot he has independent arms that move uh, this one has kind of like a handgun thing going on. Barrett from Final Fantasy VII type look. Uh, over here you got one with two um, blasters or gun turrets on there and two little movable fingers. It's kind of cool. Arm, Each arm and legs and uh, ankle have those ball joints that have been most recent sets. sets. Uh, two wings. I don't know why they're on a robot, but, you know, they create more... Uh, uh, more dynamic design which is cool uh, cool thing the dome here uh, obviously it's just a, a dome that you can see in most cockpits uh, for spaceships or whatever but inside uh, they put a little control panel there, there on top it's gonna be like his brain and they got these two pieces that are looking like his eyes so it's kind of like a, I don't know, what is that just an android type thing. That's cool. Uh, the back, little jetpack, a doha. These little white things, they just fall off so easily when I was putting it together. Kind of a pain in the ass. But overall, I mean, uh, it's kind of cool. Little dude. Like, you know, you come over here and kick the crap out of the designer guy. So. But, alright, let me get to the next one. Here's the second, uh, this is the second robot in the kit three part. Uh, this is the robot walker, a robo walker. Um, yeah, not too bad. I actually like this better than the first one. This one uh, has the little mini figure sitting inside it. as a command module, has a little keyboard there. Two little, uh, I guess it would be like cannons or something, laser cannons, and then you got a primary laser cannon on top, which uh, is pretty cool. Yeah, there it is. See, just the two wings on either side. And then you got the four legs, which keep it up, and they all, each one of the legs moves independently. So you can adjust the way it's going to sit and play I guess you know however you want to do it but uh, yeah no overall I think this one's pretty uh, nice design uh, right now I had kind of like having the back a little higher up and then like taking the legs I uh, kind of bring them in low so that the primary cannons kind of like focus forward uh, like you know Nice little building techniques put in there. They talk about sideways building. Uh, they keep mentioning different uses for different things. Like these are supposed to be propeller. Uh, these are supposed to be used for propellers on helicopters, but then you're using it as like just another shape, a uh, design element, using curves and uh, straight flat pieces, plates as like a form of armor or what, you know, what it might uh, could be. So, yep. Yeah. Not bad. I uh, wish I had more pieces so I could keep it each individual set by themselves, but oh well. Here's the last part about the 
Kit 3 mech kit. It is the plasma mech. Uh, not as fancy as the last one and uh, not as robotic feeling as the first one. However, it does a pretty decent job of giving another idea of what a small robot can be made that's also a manned robot. So, just a quick look. There's some of those antenna cannon things up on top on either side. The, I'm sorry about the black, but it makes it very difficult to uh, very difficult to see anything. Uh, okay, it's got like a mounted Gatling gun on the front. Each of the arms, uh, they move, and they've got this thing. I guess you can think it's another like plasma port or whatever. Uh, both legs, simple ball jointed plates. They claim the in the book they give little suggestions about what can make uh, details or make something that looks more mechanical or this or that and they say and they claim with this keeping some studs in a flat plate makes it look like it's a heavy duty armor so that's the intention that they had with this like a heavy duty armor machine uh, I like the top part here look at the uh, weapon system is pretty cool in the back it's just normal detailing nothing too crazy or elaborate a little hinge connector there for the feet and guy sits in there pretty well nothing too fancy Not my, oh. oops alright like I said it's not my favorite of the series of uh, the kit 3 uh, MBA set but uh not too bad. I've definitely so far liked. Uh, I like the first kit, or the first kit, the space kit, and the robot designer kit the most out of uh, the ones I've received so far. Uh, hopefully, the next couple kits uh, will be equally interesting. Didn't really like the micro kit, but we'll get into that when I cover the micro kit stuff.